This evening, the Tar Heels of North Carolina continue their quest to be number one against the Maryland Terrapins, the current top team in the land and reigning champs from a year ago. Back on Friday, championship weekend began with four teams dreaming of the title. North Carolina crushed its nearby rival Duke, then waited for Maryland to stifle Syracuse, which sets the table for the top seeds to Tang and her identical twin sister Lindsay had a birthday on Friday, celebrating sliding up two. against Alex Fitzpatrick. Let's it fly and scores! North Carolina, 15 seconds into the contest. Maggie Bill, we're going to say her name a lot tonight. She's a two-sport athlete at UNC, uses that speed and athleticism to get off the line quickly. She actually had a lot of time and Play space to her right-hand side. You. And I like their style. It's very disciplined. They don't really swing at their attackers. They want to sit low, make sure their position is well, as opposed to getting out of position. In tight score! Sam McGee makes it 2 nothing for the Tar Heels. She said they feel that they have a lot of different looks. They can challenge from up top. They can feed it inside. And that's exactly what they look for right here. We have Bill backing out. A lane was created for the double team. As soon as you see a double team, that means somebody is wide open. And you see Maggie and Bill backing out. something that they must focus on. Terps in possession. Whittle on the isolation. Going to goal. She scores! Megan Whittle making her presence felt. Megan Whittle, this is why is she is so deadly on the offensive end. That's actually not the side where she likes to challenge to. She took her defender high into the middle. She generally prefers to wrap it low on the, the underside. Girl circle. You that see the Carolina defense forming in front of Waters. Whittle will back away. Stukenberg playing catch up top with Cummings. On a speed dodge now. Fires and scores! Taylor Cummings! Taylor Cummings has such vision all over the field, but on the offensive side, when you leave her to a one-on-one -on -one situation all alone, you saw that slide coming from North Carolina. It was a little bit late, so she took it down the alley. You think that's a low angle shot, not for Taylor Cummings. She actually likes going to the outside over and can sweep those That was in. the team that uh, Maryland dispatched last season in Towson, Maryland, to claim its 11th NCAA crown. Cummings looking for Whittle. Waters gets out of the goal circle to help there defensively as it's overrun by Griffin Lee here the Dover, Virginia Tech. I like that their name is Waters yes. and their divers. Now you read my mind. That's where I was headed. Waters looking to clear. Stukenberg there on the redefend. It's the women's version of riding. Waters running for cover. Riddle with a great speed, forcing the turnover. And now Waters is some 35 yards from the goal circle. This is trouble. Wow, Joe. Maryland got away with one right there. They actually checked Kaylee Waters and it hit her in the leg. Unfortunate. Referees didn't see that. How Taylor Cummings on the feed. Collins scores! Aaron Collins gives And then now tonight. It all happens from behind that goal circle. Collins with a well-timed cut, and then into the waiting arms of the player who made the pass. Terps on top. Courtney, it's just about that time of the year. The Tawaraton Award will be handed out this coming week in Washington, D.C. Here are the five women's finalists. Now looking in years past, it has always gone to a national champion. Only one time did it go to the runner-up. So as I look at these names, I have to say that Cummings and Trainer are most likely the favorites. However, BC had a great year. So did Manley. Shannon Gilroy, a senior at Florida, putting them on the map. And then Barbara Sullivan, a great defender for Notre Dame. Maggie Bill swivels away from the pressure. Marie McCool finding some help. Here's Bill right up the gut. She scores! Maggie Bill. Levels the count at three. For the ball. They were finally able to get it to her after they worked it around from top to behind. And then here's the vision. We have Maggie Bill seeing an open lane that waiting, 
waiting to get that ball, shooting it before the double team came. That's going to be very important for UNC. As well. Always competing in the NCAA tournament. Marie McCool trying to shake her defender, Alice Mercer. This one sent on the way there. Junior from nearby New Jersey sets up shot. Let's it fly. She scores. Allie Messenger. Shots. Coach Levy said we have to do a better job of these shots. Working on them between the semifinal game and tonight. And it showed each of them having position. some turnovers on their offensive end a few times. Until you wait for that good opportunity. Like that. Marie McCool. A good stick and she, she has such a solid freshman for the Tar Heels. We see her cut to the inside of that little pull across the face. This move right here, getting on the underside. Not a lot of angle, but she's able to bring it back, snap it for a quick Steph shot Long on goal. who tallied in the semifinal win over Duke. Quick pass there. On the roll, it's Holman! She scores! Sydney Sydney Holman, Holman beats the bus. UNC, number 10. She had an ACL at the end of last season, and she's just been coming back into form as of late. We see her, this is a typical up four, back four dodge. You're gonna see it a lot of the UNC's women's games. You're gonna see it to switch goalkeepers, but they've done it all season long. That has been their MO. As far as the numbers are concerned through 30 minutes, North Carolina has the higher shot volume. A lot volume. of flashy things. You're not gonna see a backer style defense. You're not gonna see crazy pressure everywhere all over the field. You're just gonna see them sitting low, sticks up, ready for attackers to challenge hard. Whittle, the 65 goal scoring freshman, cradles it away from pressure and leaves it in the capable cross of McPartland. Charging in, McPartland fires and scores! Kelly McPartland. Kelly McPartland is so fast, just using her pure speed right there. It's not like she took a big jab to the right. She's just faster than just about every player on this field. A quick little change of direction. Not a lot of angle. That left alley side is her preference. She likes to go to the left. And you look at her angle, where she ended up. Oh, it's no little... longer with Maryland in the Big Ten. This is UNC's third ever NCAA championship game. A draw control for Cummings. A chance for the Terps to put a couple of tallies back to back. Whittle. Explosively inside the arc and the freshman lost the handle there. Well defended by Sindal. Kaylee Sindal is probably one of the most underrated defenders in the country. She tends to mark out a top attacker from the other team. But these turnovers. They're... Against Maggie Bill, who picks her up. The pass inside. Ward makes the save on Stukenberg. Uview. Great save inside. A feed to Stukenberg. Another save by North Carolina, but it was the defensive play. A check to Megan Whittle's stick by Kaylee Sindal, giving the ball <laughs> back to UNC. And then before I can say it, another turnover. Fighting effectively and forcing the turnover. Taylor Cummings, backside look, bounce shot, SCORE! Hello, Brooke Griffin! At PPL Park, very happy now. Off of a great hustle play, Taylor Cummings finding a streaking Brooke Griffin. This was off of a ride. We had North Carolina clearing the ball, Maryland riding hard, and then quick ball movement. That's what Coach Reese was looking for. Inbound play. From one Maryland player to the next, finding Brooke Griffin coming back in hard. Stukenberg from off the dog. Whittle carving in. Whittle finds Cummings wide open. Fires and scores! Taylor Cummings has tied it. Has tied it. Maryland moving the ball quickly. And the defense for UNC not moving quick enough. We had one, two, three players on ball. That's way too many. And the outlet is Taylor Cummings at the top. She's going to go hard and fast to that goal cage. UNC recognized it too late. Dodging away from Waite, who will stay with her behind the goal circle. Taylor Cummings. Long way from the cage, it's Whittle building up speed. Fires and scores! A sidewinder from Megan Whittle. Choosing Megan to play her straight up, and she is certainly making them pay right now. 
Taylor Cummings getting the ball to Megan Whittle. She loves that left alley. There's time and space. The defender did not make contact. If you are going to slow her down, you need to close space so much sooner. She's dodging right here. You see that quick first step, and she's able to fire, keeping it up. Whittle charging in there against Waite. Bounce shot, score! Whittle's on fire! And freshman in all of college lacrosse. She has such confidence on the field. We've seen it all season long. She leads Maryland in goal scored. Just on all the plays out there in the second half, Whittle has been instrumental. Not only her drive to cage there, which is excellent, especially as Waters is fresh. Bill off the split dodge, changing from right hand to left. Rolls back in, Dowdy's not fooled. McCool closing. And we hear the whistle with a flag raised. The host, as we are at PPL Park in Chester, PA. Anxious moments now for Fitzpatrick in the cage. McCool fires and scores. Huge difference from the semifinal game where they were one for eight. We see that quick takeoff off the line by Marie McCool. She didn't have a defender to the right or the left hash. Most defenders were crashing in. At the longest low. title if game they... ever in women's Division I lacrosse. North Carolina outlasting Maryland in triple overtime. Has it coming to the NCAA championships continuing. 1 p.m. Eastern tomorrow. McPartland on the move for Cummings. More information, log on NCA.com. Cummings inside, bounce shot, score! Issues in the semifinal with cramping. Wonder if that could be the case again for Maryland. Once the bells reach the top, we see Taylor Cummings looking with her vision. That's exactly what UNC was looking for. They were looking for her to feed that ball from up top. She saw that there was no defender sliding from the left. It was a quick change of direction. Releasing her shot quickly. Meeting now for the 34th time, all time. Maryland with victories in 21 of those. Cummings doing her thing inside the draw circle. And away come the Tar Heels. They trail by two. We set things up. What's at stake? It's a national title game. The top two seeds in the land battling right to the final horn. Yes, or a bill inside to score! Brilliant work from Maggie Bill. It's a one goal game. Three more minutes left to go, but they created a turnover on their defensive end, and they have done this the entire game, connecting the ball up the field. Kelly Devlin moving, bobbing and weaving inside of traffic. She finds Maggie Bill at the top center. Give her a little space and time. Howdy, Good as change the keeper continues. No stall warning in women's lacrosse. No timer on, no shot clock. Less than two minutes to go. Dowdy runs to the corner. Tar Heels have vacated the net. Waters is looking to help whenever she can from her goalie position. Careful now are the Terrapins on the outside. It's Brooke Griffin with sprinter speed. 100 seconds left. Foul against Carolina's Freisinger. The third year starter on D. Her freshman year, Mallory's, was the national championship year for North Carolina. As the uh, Terrapins are hoping to make amends, you see the net vacated by Waters. We're seeing the whistles blowing right now. You know, the, you get more aggressive, but this is what I was going to warn them about. You do not want to get a yellow card, and it's exactly what happened to UNC. It's not like basketball. Fouling is not necessarily a good thing at the end of the game because you're not going to get the ball back in terms of the change of possession. You just now are going a person down, which is only going to make Maryland's job much easier. It's a All right, frustration play. This is a replay on the foul. Looks like she caught Brooke Griffin high. Her stick was upright. She wasn't shoving out. It, it's incidental. However, it is still a foul. A yellow card. You tend to see him come out just like she had mentioned at the end of the game. And I think if we had a shot clock, they wouldn't be pressing out so hard. It wouldn't be so do or die. That's why so many coaches are a proponent for that. And they believe it makes the game safer. You wouldn't have those necessarily high hits in desperate attempts to get the ball back. It's desperation time for North Carolina. 104 to go, a one goal deficit. Maryland, the reigning champs, gunning for their 21st victory. Peppermint 
needs to be on a player right now. You're trying to get the ball back. You have to be marked up, matched up, before you look to send a double. And right now we have UNC players chasing four or five. That means Maryland is open somewhere. You're not going to get the ball back like that. Maryland showing great discipline, though, with that net yawning at them. Nobody goes to the cage. No dangerous shot. If you were to miss it, you might give the ball back to Carolina. 36.2 to go, top-seeded Terps, that close to another title. Cummings, a favorite for the Tawaratan Award again. College nice. lacrosse's version of the Heisman Trophy. Stukenberg, over the top to McPartland, time ticks to 30 seconds to go. Whittle, who is cramping up in the second half. Running there well on the end line with Devlin. Down to 20 seconds left, and there's a foul. A 9-8 thriller. Maryland out of the Big Ten. North Carolina of the ACC. Right down to the wire. Terps continue the game of keep away. Taylor Cummings, 15 seconds to go. The Terrapins trying to kill the last three minutes of the game using both ends of the field. Six seconds left. Mercer running. Mercer knocked down. There's a whistle with 3.9 to play. They are starting to celebrate in earnest. Jumping for joy are the Turks. Mercer has it. Launching this one. It's over. The Terrapins of Maryland. Queens of college lacrosse. Back-to-back -back beauties. You see the coaches overcome with joy. Kathy Reese, not just her first championship here. She had so many as a player, as an assistant, now as a head coach. Each and every one, she said, has meant so much to her, as well as her staff. This is something you work hard for all season long. And to be able to say you did it, for another 60 minutes, especially being down at the half, that says truly what you're made of as a team. To the champion belongs the spoils, the disappointment etched on the faces of the Tar Heels. Kathy Reese, who said, you've spent all season studying for this exam. Let's do what we do. She and her Terrapins are jubilant. She and Stan McBurge by side with, with Taylor Kathy Reese. And Taylor, you're holding the trophy. How does it feel? Amazing, you know, to come from behind and beat a really good uh, North Carolina team is just amazing. Um, credit to them, they played us really tough, but I'm so proud of how our team pulled it out, and I wouldn't want to win with another group of girls. So amazing, but it didn't look good for you guys in the first half especially, and there were some times it looked like UNC had control. What was the changing point? Um, you know, I think we brought it together in the second half, and thank God for sports, there are second halves, and it was all about us. It was all about Maryland. You know, we let them control the game for a while, but we stuck to our guns and we changed our game and came out on top tonight. How does the revenge feel? UNC stole a title from you guys. You have, have two to your resume. What does it feel like? Revenge is sweet. It's better to come out on this end than the other end. Thanks. Enjoy your win. Thank you. She and a year ago 